Mike Quinn joins us now. And hey, Mike, you took a role in Return of the Jedi without even knowing who you're going to play, right? Actually, that's true. How did you know that? We, uh, we knew that there were a lot of characters and creatures that were coming up. A lot of us were at the uh, studio working on The Dark Crystal for Jim Henson. And they were in pre-production at Elstree for Jedi. So Robert Watts interviewed a bunch of us, puppeteers, Tim Rose and Toby Philpott and a few others. Uh, to be on the picture and it was as simple as that so we knew we were we didn't know how long we'd be on it or what we'd be doing but we knew there were creatures and that was it so it's like good enough so we kind of had a little blind faith and we're uh, happy to, to to be part of it and it went on from there love your creatures i'm sure now which one did you get uh, awarded first i say award because it's really like a reward being part of star wars Oh yeah, we started at the beginning of, I think it was 82, and in fact I was assisting Tim Rose um, on uh, Slice Noodles. We were rehearsing that while they were shooting the exterior shots of uh, the entrance to Jabba's Palace and that kind of thing. So Jabba's Palace was the first big scene for all the creatures that we shot. So I helped him with, uh, we rehearsed uh, Snoodles, and there were two versions of her, that we one for a wide shot and one for a close-up that we rehearsed, and then we shot on on uh, Jabba's palace. Um, I also did the little slug in the archway with the tongue that oh, yeah. was above Jabba's head. That slug-like character is Wol Kabashit, sculpted by Judy Elkins and painted by Phil Tippett. And, um, and then while they were shooting further scenes on that, we also rehearsed, Tim and I rehearsed Akbar as well, Admiral Akbar. Yeah. So I helped him with that as well. So that was a two-man role, Admiral Akbar. Well, it was it was a one-man role with an assistant. Let's put it that way. But yes, uh, so but he was the principal performer, and I did cables for the different versions of him: the close-up and the wide shot, mouth things and eyeballs and that sort of stuff. Tim and I worked together a lot on a lot of projects. Then uh, what was next? We had the um, the Ewok Village came along at some point, so I did a baby Ewok and the Wokling and. Um, Yes, it was, it was good to, to be able to go to walk every day. <laughs> oh, um, I did the little grey one with the mother that uh, when, when 3PO was telling the story, he gets scared, you know, it's, it's about this big, little tiny thing. Um, I played the maternal Ewok in Return of the Jedi. Um, I was only 15, so it was a long time ago now. Is it, what, 30 years, 30 odd years ago? Um, but I had a great time. And obviously as a 15 year old, it was a, had a ball. Uh, so that was nice, of course, you know. Um, I think that was the largest gathering of little people under one roof since the Wizard of Oz, like 50 of them. And uh, I was little then too, so I guess I was almost, uh, I would almost count. And I also did some animation on episode two. Might as well get that in too. Tell us more. That's right, you went from puppeting, <laughs> puppeteering to animation. That was a big change in your life, I'm sure. In, in, in a way, but it's still bringing something to life. It's just in a, in a slower way, you know. It's more like doing doing your accounts or taxes or something because it's a much slower process. But you're still trying to bring an inanimate object to life. So, yes, yeah, so I, I started out at Pixar with that uh, on Toy Story 2 as a character animator. So I still animate now and I puppeteer. So it's kind of cool. More to come from Mike. On our next segment released, we do our best to sort out 9-num from 10-num, the deleted B-Wing pilot, and another deleted Sullustin. It might surprise you, so join us for more brand new releases to the channel. I'll see you later. <laughs> All the other artists Mike mentioned in our segment, we've also interviewed them right here on the channel too. Feel free to take a look around. And importantly, if you can, subscribe and share to get the word out there of our over 100 Star Wars interviews. Catch you soon.